In the previous video, we prototyped an exploring app. Here it is with some additional places, but now we're going to share our prototype with others for feedback and testing as well as previewing the experience on mobile devices. Now to start, we can just open up the sharing dialog in the top right of XD, and I can select Publish Prototype. From there, I can just give it a title like Exploring App. I'm going to allow comments, and I want to show the hotspot hints. Then I can create a public link. Once you have that public link, you can share it with others. And when others open this link, they'll see the prototype, they'll be able to interact with it. And notice how if they happen to click in an area that's not active, well, the hotspot hints are shown. Now you can send this link to anyone that you want, any stakeholders, and the great thing is, is they can add their comments to the design. And these comments actually can be pinned to a specific area. So for instance, I can add a comment right here. Uh, say, for instance, changing the title by adding an E to it. So you'll actually get the notification on that comment. And then from there, you can just jump into Adobe XD and quickly make that change. And then all you need to do is update the prototype that has already been published. Once it's updated, you can also add your own comment or just resolve this issue if you'd like. But it's great that this content is being tracked. If you're conducting user testing, you can actually disable hotspot hints and make sure the prototype opens in full screen mode so users get kind of more of a real world experience of the app. But you can go beyond that by testing your prototype on mobile devices just using this button right up here. And keep in mind, you will need to download the Adobe XD mobile app for the device you want to test on and download it directly from the App Store or Google Play, whichever pertains to your device. Once you have the mobile app installed, you can test it directly from XD if you have a Mac just by connecting it by USB. Or what you could do is, whether you're using Mac or Windows, you can save the file to your Creative Cloud Files folder like I'm doing right now. And it doesn't matter where it is in this Creative Cloud Files folder. But once it's synced, you can actually launch your Adobe XD app on your mobile device, whether it's Android or iOS. You'll notice the file you've saved, and from there you can interact with it to make sure the buttons are big enough, or really take it with you and have someone else test it, but this is really convenient. Lastly, when you're ready to move your experience into production, you can export out all of the assets. That's pretty straightforward. And to also speed up your production process, use Publish Design Specs Beta. Design Specs Beta makes it easy to share your experiences with developers who can then review it and get important information. So the developers who get this link can see all the screens and get specific information like specific colors and character styles, get the exact measurements and sizes for specific elements, as well as seeing the overall flow of the experience. When you're ready to take things to the next level with XD, know that there are additional UI kits that you can use. Plus there's additional learning and support resources. Also get inspired by an XD project on Behance and be sure and watch live stream sessions on Adobe Live. Thanks so much for watching.